and welcome to Pulse, the shocking new food and health related news show that intends to shock you. Tonight, we bring you the shocking new report about sleep at Davis High School. A good night's sleep contributes to the development of procedural memories, or skills acquired during the day. With more sleep, people are able to better retain skills, thus learning them more efficiently. One particular study tested this. The study had its subjects repeatedly type a sequence of letters in the morning, the evening, and the following morning after a good night's sleep. Between the morning and evening blocks of the first day, no significant improvement in these procedural tasks occurred. However, after a good night's sleep, 20% increase in performance occurred. Given the many studies that suggest that sleep and logic are positively associated with one another, one has to wonder. If the average student slept more than they currently do, would grades improve? Furthermore, is it true that if a student sleeps more before the night of the SAT than they do on any other night, that their score will be higher? Two students from Davis High School went out in search of answers for these questions. Could you explain to me a little bit about your survey? So essentially what we did is um, each teacher was asked if we could survey the sixth period class and every student in that class was given a copy of this survey. What sorts of questions do you ask in your survey? We asked a couple questions just to see if the entire population of Davis High was represented, such as age and grade level and gender. And then we asked them how much sleep they would get in a night. And then what was the longest period of uninterrupted sleep they would get. And whether they would sleep extra on the night before the SATs. And then we asked them what their highest SAT score was and what their current weighted GPA was. Did you run into any sorts of problems with your survey? There was some confusion about what highest SAT score meant because the SAT is divided up into three sections and so we had to clarify that orally and some students also were confused about the definition of a weighted GPA and despite our oral directions there were a couple mistakes made. Uninterrupted sleep. Yeah, so some students actually had trouble with that question as well and um, what we meant by uninterrupted sleep was the longest period of sleep that occurred at once. And so while most people get most of their sleep at night, um, seven or eight hours all at once, some students here at the high school might get three hours here, two hours here, one hour during class. And so in order to see if that was in any way different in effect on GPA than total sleep, we asked students how, what was the longest period of time that you slept all at once without waking up. What exactly did your data end up looking like? There is um, kind of an upward trend in the scatter, so you can see that as sleep increased, it looks like GPA increased as well, but when we did our analysis, there turned out to be no evidence that there was any sort of relationship between the two. What exactly were the results of the sleep to GPA comparison? Students who got more uninterrupted sleep actually seemed to get lower GPAs than students who got less uninterrupted sleep, and so we're not really sure why this happened, but we're thinking maybe students who get higher GPAs spend more time studying and are unable to get a long period of uninterrupted sleep. And for the SATs? So yes, the um, association between extra sleep and SAT scores was something that inter interested us as well. And um, even though we don't take the SAT scores a anymore, we uh, conducted a study on the SAT scores and students who slept more the night before the SATs like the teachers tell us to. What sort of analysis did you end up doing? We conducted what is called a two-samp t-test, but um, before we conducted a test, actually the average SAT score for students who slept more the night before was actually lower than the average SAT score for the student who did not sleep extra the night before. So already there was a complete lack of evidence that sleeping more the night before the SATs was in any way helpful for your score. The difference in average score was small enough that there's no evidence that sleeping extra the night before the SATs was detrimental to your score, but definitely there's no way I would say that sleeping more before the SATs is in any way related to having a higher SAT score. While no conclusive evidence was shown to positively link extra sleep to a better GPA in SAT scores, it is in the opinion of this humble reporter that a little bit more sleep couldn't hurt anybody. Peter Hess, reporting from Davis High School in Davis, California. Coming up next, does broccoli cause cancer? We'll find out after the break. <laughs>